morning. So we're just below the top of Mount Skassan. Uh, Mount Yudono is just down onto that way. And you can see the Sea of Japan as well. Um, uh, so I've been a Yamabushi for three years now. And officially to become a Yamabushi, you have to take, there's a week-long training. It's called the Akinomi which means autumn peak in English. And it's not, it's not easy. So you spend one week in the mountain um, training. Uh, that's about all I can tell you. But since becoming Yamabushi, so, uh, so one thing that's changed with me, I think, is that I am able to, I don't know, come to terms with things much easier than before. And what that help, what that does is, it means that you can, if you if you can come to terms with something quickly, it means you can move on quickly as well. Um, and I put that down to the Yamabushi philosophy of uketamo. So, because uketamo means to accept. That's, that's a core uh, philosophy in many different areas, um, but the, it's embodied during Yamabushi training because, so of course you uketa more what your master, your sendatsu says to you, but you also uketa more the situation. For example, so I've been here, so right now it's extremely sunny, beautiful day. But I've been on this mountain actually inside a thunderstorm, uh, even above the thunderstorm because the mountain is nearly 2,000 meters high. But uh, so you have to uketa more the situation. So I have no control over the weather. But if you tell yourself you're going to climb the mountain, you're going to climb the mountain. If it's going to be sunny like today then that's great um, but then sometimes you get really bad days uh, bad days in terms of weather uh, being really stormy but when that happens you you get the more uh, and if you can you get the more during uh, I don't really like the terms bad and good because it's all relative but if you can get the more during situations that aren't ideal then you can better appreciate those situations. And uh, I believe that through that appreciation, so Yamabushi teaches you appreciation of mundane things. Um, and I believe that through that appreciation, you feel what they call in Japanese is ikigai, which is the, the will to live or um, the, the will or the desire or the want. To, to live um, and so yeah so when when bad things bad again <laughs> that term uh, so when things happens that aren't things happen that aren't ideal if you can look at them all then then you can move on quicker um, and that that means that you can more easily um, live in a way that's conducive, in a way that's uh, helpful, um, in a way that's uh, fulfilling. And that's something that I really realized since becoming a Yamabushi. Um, yep. So, uh, we are really lucky today because the weather is insanely beautiful. We can see, we can see Mount Chokai. Um, normally, most of the time you can't see Mount Chalkai when you're up here. Um, well, th that's been my experience. I've been up here maybe 15 times. Um, yeah. But today is gorgeous. And the clouds, wonderful. Um, yeah. So, that's about me becoming Yamabushi. <laughs>